So QD OLEDs, I mean, sure, they tend to have cleaner panels, off angle viewing tends to be much better. And yes, the color also tends to be better than most LGW OLEDs out there, but the ambient light handling in a bright room is absolutely horrific making it a non-option for some people. And more importantly, my God, the scratch resistance is awful. I mean, it seems like every time I ship one of these things, they just get scratched up. And I'm sure that you've seen online people complaining about how easy it is to scratch these dang monitors. Well, I present to you, allegedly, the ROG PG32 UCDM3. Yes, three at the end, or at least Gen 3. Yes, this is the third generation of the UCDM, which by the way, to this day, I still feel like is the best QD OLED monitor that I have ever reviewed. Then we had the UCDM R that came after that, which added DisplayPort 2.1. Now we have this generation three, and this might be actually a really good follow-up on the original. Now I do wanna let you guys know, this was actually posted publicly by Asus over on their website. I'll go ahead and give you guys a link in the description below. So yeah, this information, it's out there and it appears to be official. And this monitor that we're talking about, of course, is gonna have the same 32 inch, 4K 240 Hertz QD OLED panel that you know and love. But where it gets different is, well, it should in theory actually address all the issues that we have with current QD OLED monitors, hopefully at least to an extent. Now, let's go ahead and take a look directly at the article so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So they state, quote, so for the PG32 UCDM Gen 3, we're using black shield film, which improves the monitor's black level in scenarios with brighter ambient light by up to 40%. Expect the black parts of your display to retain their darkness better than ever, giving you unprecedented contrast and color accuracy, no matter your lighting situation. We've also given the monitor anti-reflection surface coating to further enhance the clarity of your viewing experience. The Black Shield film is also highly durable. It offers 2.5x more panel scratch resistance than the previous designs, easing your cleaning routine. So there's two big things there. First of all, better ambient light handling by 40%, whatever that means. Now, in theory, that sounds amazing, and I'm sure it will be amazing, but I wanna let you guys know, I wanna temper your expectations. In my opinion, I doubt this will be enough to match W OLED when it comes to ambient light handling still, and here's why. Now, I'll show you a chart, but current W OLEDs are way ahead of QD OLED when it comes to ambient light handling. A 40% improvement, sure, it would narrow the gap, but listen, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and close probably won't be close enough. That being said, if you are in a room which isn't you know, filled with studio lights and you just have a little bit of light leaking in, this actually might make the difference to finally make QD OLED a good option for you. So we'll have to wait and see when I get my hands on them at CES. Definitely make sure to get, subscribe, smash, destroy that like button. Beat that like button like it owes you money because yes, I'm gonna be at CES getting everything I can and we'll see how the ambient light handling is when I'm there. But the second most important, in fact, this might be the most important, 2.5X more panel scratch resistance. Whatever that means. Look, 2.5X sounds great. So let's just assume that hopefully that finally fixes the problem. No more scratched panels. And then here's the third thing that I wanna talk about that has me a little bit nervous. We've given the monitor an anti-reflection surface coating to further enhance the clarity of your viewing experience. Now, anti-reflection coating, when you hear that, you might immediately think matte coating, and I'm a little bit nervous. However, I don't think it's actually gonna be a matte coating because they're saying to further enhance the clarity of your viewing experience. A matte coating definitely does not enhance clarity. So I think this is just a property of their quote TM. Okay, I don't think it's actually trademarked. But anyway, black shield film. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about here. The only other major improvements that you'll be getting are of course the DisplayPort 2.1 and the Display HDR going from 400 to 500 true black. So you'll get a little bit more brightness, better ambient light handling, DisplayPort 2.1 and better scratch resistance. So if you're on a PG32 UCDM, it might be worth waiting for my review because this actually might be the worthy upgrade, but we'll see. Once again, make sure you're subscribed because I will be covering these any chance I get at CES 2026 very soon.